first, let's talk about a new screening yeah. of Farewell, My Concubine. Uh, that's celebrating the film's 30th anniversary. Yeah, returning to the cinemas uh, this week. Very excited. Modern classic from Hong Kong, Farewell, My Concubine. Uh, it's directed by Chen Cage, and it's a story about a boy who was raised in a theater troupe in the 20s, develops an act uh, that brings him a lot of fame, but when his acting partner marries someone else, the, dr uh, the dramatic fall begins. Now, this is a multi-award winning film, which is one of the most visually stunning, honestly, I've ever seen. It's back in the cinemas after a 4K restoration and a new director's cut. So even if you've seen it before, you haven't really seen it yet. It starts this Thursday at the Oriental Theater for a short run, so act fast. Yeah, the imagery there does look right. pretty stunning. Good imagery, and we love a, a, a love quarrel, right? Always. For a, for a plot. It makes it more interesting. It's always interesting. a good plot twist, yeah. Every time, love triangle, yeah. yes. All right, so this is one of my top five mm -hmm. favorite Yeah, you've been talking about I've it. I've been talking about it, but just in time for Halloween, horror fans can see a Scream double feature. Christopher, the only question I have is, what is your favorite scary movie? Oh, I mean, this is going to be towards the top of the list as yes. well, for sure. And like you said, we're getting close to the end of the spooky season. There's no better way to wrap it up than this. And it's a classic double feature, Scream and Scream 2. They're playing this weekend back to back at the Oriental Theater. It's hard to believe this franchise has been around for 27 years, but has really stood the test of time already. The mask, the phone calls, all those classic rules for a horror film. The film, it set a new standard for slasher films. So this is a classic double feature, as I said, this Friday starting at 7 p.m. at the Oriental Theater. Oh, love 27 that. years, that's hard to believe. This is, this is what we showed at my sixth grade birthday party. <laughs> oh my goodness. I remember growing up being afraid to answer the phone. Well, and this actually increased caller ID yeah, right, after, right, afterwards. Yeah. All right, and yeah. something else, my nieces are so excited about this. Five Nights at Freddy's is coming out this week and it features Josh Hutcherson from The Hunger Games. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, if you're more in the mood for a new horror film, uh, is one that could be for you and you want one that contains your favorite childhood pizza place with animatronic musicians well you're in luck five nights at freddy's josh hutcherson as you mentioned plays a security guard whose new uh, whose new gig is at freddy's fosbear's pizza not chuck e cheese or showbiz depending on where you grew up and the night shift is a lot trickier than he expects so the film also stars mary stewart masterson uh, and some very angry robot bears this comes out this friday mm. Uh, mm. there's no right. part of that I was, like, I was like already the kids who don't like to go to those places because of those animatronics they're watching the screen like oh my gosh what's happening uh they're all haunted and um creepy oh, at horrific. freddy's <laughs> yeah. yeah all right well, let's talk about a new collection of shorts by Wes Anderson. They're uh, streaming right now on Netflix. Yeah, the uh, the wonderful story of Henry Sugar is the flagship of the four films that Wes Anderson did. Just recently coming off of Asteroid City, he dipped his toe into the short film form recently. Uh, so these all of the films are based on Roald Dahl stories. But Henry Sugar is about a man who learns the mystical art of seeing without using your eyes. It's a great morality tale with a great cast as usual. Benedict Cumberbatch, Ray Fiennes, Ben Kingsley, Dev Patel, it goes on and on. Uh, these shorts are delightful, they're fun, and really love to look at as usual. I also highly recommend reading the stories if you need a book recommendation, they're wonderful. Uh, but the films are all playing now on Netflix and you should check them out. You know, Wes Anderson is always just so, he is so creative, right. obviously, that's why he does what he does. But like that plot, just uh, as you're even describing it, sounds so, out of this world. It does, you know, yeah. and it's very visual. Yeah. It kind of, mm -hmm. it almost like on purpose directs your attention elsewhere. Yeah. And I think that's done purposefully. But also Wes Anderson just, is there a lot of fourth wall breaks in that, in those short films? Because it looks like they're talking to you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he. They, they, it's it's like you're being read a book by okay. a really wonderful uncle or teacher. Oh. <laughs> nice. Streaming now on Netflix. Christopher Pollard of Milwaukee Film and the Movie Podcast Cinebuds. Always great to chat with you on a Tuesday morning to find out what we should be watching in theaters and at home. We'll see you next week.